Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through from my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords showing up in reverse. So there may be something you're not saying to this person. You may not be in communication with them. Some of my gems, you may be spying on them, checking out their social media, again, coming to readings regarding them. They're showing up or you're viewing them as temperance energy, as Sagittarius. And you're viewing the connection as the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Your person is showing up as the Nine of Wands. And they're viewing you as the Queen of Swords in reverse. So they do see that you're maybe you're angry or resentful or pissed off at them for some reason. They still hold a torch for you. And they may be grieving something about this connection, Gemini. What's going on between you? We have the world in reverse. We have the four of pentacles, so holding back, unfinished business, and the queen of pentacles. Okay, so finances could be an issue in this connection um, with two queens showing up here as well. It can be that somebody has an ex or somebody they have children with or some sort of financial obligation to um, that may be getting in the way or holding up this connection. And we see the five of swords in reverse, but spirit is showing us that there is potential here, gems to heal or to resolve conflict. But it looks like you're either not speaking to this person or you're just really angry and upset with them. Now, they could be a Sagittarius. They don't have to be, though, or they could have some fixed energy in their chart. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. With the page of swords in reverse it looks like there's some stuff that you haven't quite said to this person. All right. And we see the six of wands. It looks like my gems, you might be ignoring this person um, or just maybe you've cut them off or you're not talking to them or um, you've taken some time to yourself because it feels like there's been some conflict or maybe you saw some red flags. Now you see your person has temperance energy. So they might be a bit of a traveler. They might be a bit of a philosopher. They could also be an earth angel or a healer, or maybe you see them that way. All right. <clears throat> and we have the eight of swords energy in reverse, but some of you, you might feel like this person is or was hiding something, or maybe, you, maybe you're angry or upset because they need to let go of whatever this queen of pentacles is, right? It could be like a, I mean, I don't know that it's a third party. It doesn't necessarily feel like a lover, but it feels like, you know, it could be someone that, you know, that they have some sort of financial ties to or they have children with or something that drains their finances or something that um, doesn't allow them to put in a lot of work into this connection, or something that just comes between the two of you. Maybe they work really high, high work hours. So six of pentacles, <clears throat> this person, I'm sorry. So you're viewing this connection as something that that is or can be healed. I think you also see that you and this person are different, but you balance each other out. Ooh, but some of my gems, you're worried that the attraction or the passion has fizzled or with the queen of wands in reverse. I mean, it can indicate a third party situation, but more so I feel like some of my gems, maybe you saw some red flags that even though that, you know, you and this person, six of pentacles can be that you were just dating or dating casually that you're not sure that it can go the distance, all right? Or there's too much focus on the physical. Your person is showing up as the Nine of Wands, so they definitely hold a torch for you, okay? And yeah, the Three of Wands, it looks like your person's waiting for you, Gems, to speak up, to send them a message, to respond to a message, to see you, to hear from you in some way. Um, this person does want things to move forward here, um, but it looks like you're ignoring them or you're, you've got them on hold and they know that that you're angry or you're pissed off or you're angry or upset about something from the past. Maybe you, you found out something about their past, Gemini. Okay, and we see the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, so there, some of you, 
maybe they got upset about an ex on your side because the queen of swords can certainly be an ex. Maybe somebody that you've broken up with or, you know, it, does, it feels like there might be someone's ex is meddling in this situation or causing some drama or some problems here. And your person, they're viewing the relationship as the six of cups in reverse. Again, needing to sw switch focus, um, not being able to get over the past. But again, maybe it's something from your past or something from theirs, but they're seeing that really negatively affecting this connection. But this person, they want clarity. They want to talk. They do want to move this connection forward with you. And with the world card in reverse, it does feel like there's considerable distance between you. But I'm also seeing here with the world in reverse that, um, that, that, that they feel like there's, you know, there's distance, definitely. Some of you, different city, state, or country. But for others of you, there's just some unfinished business here. And the Queen of Swords, something that you need to talk about, something that needs to be righted. Maybe a wrong needs to be righted, truths need to be spoken, some sort of raw, authentic conversation. At the heart of the reading, we have the Four of Pentacles. So someone here is definitely holding back. All right. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. I think I, I do feel gems for a lot of you, you know, provided there haven't been any deal breakers, lying, cheating, you know, things like that. You know, I do feel like this, this energy of holding back is and will come to an end. I do think that things can be brought into balance or into focus here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Swords. But there, I, I think there's something here that needs to be talked about that was really draining this connection. And again, like I said, for some of you, it's it's from your past or from theirs, like an ex or some sort of, um, you know, for some of you, they may not have been completely honest about certain health issues as well. Um, we see the Devil card. So we see Capricorn energy. So beware of unhealthy or bad habits here. Um Interesting, but I, I do feel your person wants to talk and some of my gems, maybe you're just a little bit worried if there's been a lot of bickering or fighting or arguing between the two of you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What do we need to know? What do my gems need to know about this person? What do my Geminis need to know about this person, please? All right, so they want stability and security. All right. Um, some of you, they could be from a tropical location is what I'm getting. Um, okay. So they feel like you're mirroring each other. They're doing some serious introspection here. I do feel this person's waiting for you. I do think that they have hope or faith that things can be healed. All right. Spirit's advice for you is get ready for a new phase or transformation here. Somebody, you might be changing your mind about how you're feeling. And we have karmic relationships. So fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So I do feel some of my, some of my gems, like there's this karmic relationship that seems to be affecting this one. And for some of you, I feel like you're really truly contemplating whether or not this is a karmic situation for you, or if it's something that you should really put time and effort into. At the bottom of the deck, we see meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So I do think this person is going to reach out to talk, wants to resolve issues here. Let's see what they want to say to you. What does this person want my Geminis to know? What does this person want my Geminis to know, please? All right. So I feel so happy with you. All right. And I want you. Okay, but I bury myself in work to forget you. I was getting that with the devil energy. You could have a bit of a workaholic here on your hands. Okay, let's see. Clear messages and guidance. Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis regarding this connection, please. Okay, so beautiful things take time to grow. There's no need to rush. Allow yourself to grow at your own pace, okay? So that's not trying to rush rush things. Maybe you need some time to figure out what you're going to do here. Maybe some of you feel like you're not on the same timeline as this person. And nothing is lost, Gemini. So know that when you lose something, try to remember that there's always a deeper meaning that anything you lose comes around in another form. And no matter how bad things may seem, all is not lost. Wow. Okay. 
beautiful messages there and in the making. So you're entering a new reality, opening up to new levels of you and where your best self exists. It's your time to shine, so don't hold anything back. All right. Interesting messages there, Gems. Let's see what final messages Spirit would like you to hear at this point in time. All right. And an external party is intruding on this relationship. I do see that. I did pick up on that pretty strong with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles showing up. So again, it could be on your side or it could be on theirs. And it does look like an addiction is affecting this relationship. And on my channel, addiction doesn't just have to be drugs and alcohol. It's really anything that someone needs to get out from under. It can also be overthinking. It can be overspending. Um, again, somebody here maybe have hidden health issues or hidden addictions as well. So it is important to, that you get to the heart of the matter here, Gemini. Okay. So make the healthiest choices in life and love and for you and yours. All right, gems, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. And if these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.